All right. I'm back after a couple days. Uh, this will start off clearing this battlefield. I don't think this battlefield gives anything uh, too interesting. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just TXP. Yeah. Oh, I got two levels anyways. Just gonna head back here for a second just to refresh the uh, HP and the spell casts. Might as well. Uh, Fill up a bit here. I'm into the ice pyramid. Uh, the, uh, next to uh, main uh, dungeon. We'll be getting the uh, water crystal from here. Yeah, so like I was saying before, I always just got up to the uh, that uh, falls base in the previous area. So I'm not as familiar with uh, you know any of the levels going forward from now. Back to manuals, so we don't waste. Uh, and as you can see, the enemies here are invisible to start with. Uh, we'll get an item shortly that will uh, make them appear on the overworld again. They aren't uh, appearing randomly or anything, they're still uh, fixed in place like they are everywhere else. Uh, you just can't see them. I'm not sure why they put that uh, so early on in the dungeon. Uh, I didn't rem I didn't know it was uh, there. I just kind of walked into going that way. I suppose if you went the wrong way, you could be uh, you could maybe do the whole dungeon before you uh, ended up coming back and finding it. Uh, it seems like it should have been a bit farther in. They we'll see later. They actually pull that uh, same uh, gimmick at least one other time. I don't remember if they do it uh, a second, uh, a third time, but they do do it a second time, anyways. So this is going to take me a bit longer to get through, because I don't really remember uh, where exactly to go. I guess I'll just uh, start off going up here and finish the paths one at a time. That's the one thing I, you know, I really, I think I did say earlier. The enemies appearing on the overworld. Uh, I think it's just so much better than random encounters. It makes it so that you you know you can actually explore the dungeon and you know you know where you've been already, uh, where you've still got to go, uh, and it doesn't like, punish you for exploring if you 
you know, you think there's nothing down a hallway, but you just want to make sure you can go down, and then, okay, there's nothing here, and, you know, you move on, and that's it. But uh, mm. if there's random encounters, you know, you're punished for that, because you got to fight all the way down the hallway, and then fight all the way back. A lot of the enemies in here are kind of annoying. They, uh, there's a lot of confuse and sleep uh, using enemies. Yeah, so I did check the recording. I think I'm up to like uh, like an hour and a half or so. Uh, already almost, uh, I guess I would just say maybe 30% of the way through the game. Uh, the, the first crystal get much quicker than the other ones. Uh, there's one tiny, tiny dungeon before it, and then you do the main dungeon uh, to get the crystal, and it's not particularly long either. Uh, but as you saw, to get you know, through here there was uh, Falls Basin and the uh, place where we fought the octopus. I forget what its name was. And then we've got to do this, and this is much uh, larger than the Bone Dungeon was. Battlefields, it's uh, much faster just to you know, speed through on auto, but uh, I don't want her uh, wasting heal spells and stuff uh, right now. Otherwise, she just keep, uh, you know, she she would wake up Ben and then uh, you know he'd get put back to sleep again. And she'd wake him up again, and he would just keep going like that. So. Much better just get through it, just kill them. here you can walk behind some of those things Pop up here. yes we're at uh, two hours game time uh, game time will be a bit ahead of the uh, recording time because of the uh, fast forwarding during the battlefields there.
Uh, I, I really have no idea where to go here, but uh, this is one of the more complicated dungeons. Uh, I don't seem to remember the uh, later dungeons being uh, as maze-like. I think they were more uh, straightforward. For the, there's one dungeon I remember later that I uh, didn't really like. Switch that I've been looking to play. I might maybe do a uh, let's play of it uh, called uh, Shadows of Adam. It looks to be, well it's on uh, Steam as well, but uh, it looks to be kind of inspired by Mystic Quest. It's a uh, very similar art style and the, uh, you know, the battle perspective is the same. That would be good to go through. Well, I haven't done many uh, Let's Plays yet of uh, you know games that I haven't beat before. Uh, mostly just gonna be ones I you know beaten. You know, easier to you know, talk and stuff. Uh, if I'm not having to pay as much attention to what I'm doing. You know, and also, it would be kind of boring if I got stuck somewhere and, you know, there was five hours of me just wandering around. there, octopus. There, hopefully we uh, can come up, come across some uh, eventually. Uh, see, these guys are the worst. Petrify. They do sometimes, anyways. I think these guys do anyways. It could be their power pallet swaps uh, later. Yeah, so see, he tried to uh, silence Ben there, but uh, I guess one of our armor pieces uh, makes us immune to it. Which, uh, later in the game, that'll just be every status effect.
And maybe they can't uh, petrify. Mm -hmm. I know in the uh, you meet their pallet swap in the fireplace, and uh, they do petrify there quite often. That's where we'll probably be seeing some uh, lost battles. Of course, I didn't. Uh, I didn't have too many when I was like really young. Uh, I think Mystic Quest, uh, Soul Blazer. That's about. That's, that's all I had on the Super Nintendo. Like, yeah, sort of. Uh, I guess Super Ninja Boy counts. Yeah, I didn't really have too many, uh, and then, you know, of course, the N64, uh, you know, I had, like, none. Uh, I did eventually get Over Battle 64, uh, it's, like, one of my favorite games, I probably want to do a video on that sometime, uh, I don't know if it would be, probably not a full, uh, Let's Play, uh, but, you know, it's a pretty long game and it would be kind of boring to watch, but I do want to just kind of go through it a bit and talk about it. Um, yeah, I don't think I had any other um, RPGs on the N64. Um, rented Paper Mario a bit once, but I never ended up uh, finishing it or buying it. Uh, and then of course, uh, GameCube. Tales of Symphonia, and that was, I think again, probably the only one I had. Uh, yeah, I guess once Nintendo uh, kind of killed their uh, relationship with all the third party devs after the Super Nintendo, uh, there wasn't so many RPGs coming out on Nintendo systems. Uh, lots on handheld though, I played tons on handheld. Uh, Game Boy, you know, I had all the Pokemon games. You know, usually both versions, mm. actually. Mm. Yeah. And then just, you know, emulating stuff. Uh, yeah, as far as Final Fantasy games in particular, uh, I remember borrowing one from someone once when I was a kid, but, uh, you know, I, I was, like, uh, pretty young then, and, uh, I don't know, I just died over and over. Uh, I specifically remember you know, getting kind of deadlocked where I had like, I don't know, one white mage who was alive but had like no, no spells left and I was like stuck out in the middle of nowhere and I had saved. Or, you know, I, uh, I don't remember if I had saved in a town or whatever, but you know, I would saved somewhere, I had no money, no spells or whatever and uh, most of my party was dead, so I had to just like restart the game because uh, there was nothing I could do. Uh, I, I never ended up getting any of that. Uh, I did eventually play through it uh, a couple years ago. Uh, yeah, I think it was the. I think I ended up emulating the Wonder Swan version. Uh, though I do have the uh, Game Boy Advance. Version uh, one and two. 
Yeah, I do like one quite a bit. Uh, I've played through a bit of two you know, on the Game Boy Advance there. Uh, I really like the idea of the, uh, the way the leveling and stats work. Uh, I know, you know, that's one of those things everyone's just like, oh, it's horrible, why would you ever do that? But uh, I think they could have fixed that. You know, you, or someone else could fix that in another game. Um, I want to see if I can get in there. I think that's the second helmet. I don't remember exactly, but I think that's what that is. Anyways, yeah, the leveling in Final Fantasy 2. I like the idea of, you know, the more you use weapons, the better you get at them. The more you hit something, the higher your strength gets. The more you get hit, the more your defense goes up or whatever. I think what they probably should have done is just had it where you gain, like, experience points in those uh, areas, but also just normal experience points as you fight battles. And then when your normal experience points reach the level up, then you gain stats uh, proportionate to how many experience points you had in each area. So if, like, 50% of the experience points you got, you know, the stat experience points were uh, strength, then you would, uh, you know, 50% of the stats you gained on level up would be strength points, or, you know, something kind of like that. Not exactly, but, you know, that way, you know, it would prevent being able to grind up to, like, you know, end game, uh, you know, level strength, uh, you know, right off the start, like you could, you know, you just go out of town and just, you know, run around for an hour hitting yourself and then you're after that you one shot everything but uh i think that would prevent that and it would still make it more natural that, you know the guy who's always using swords is gonna end up being you know the sword fighter or you know, just naturally instead of uh saying okay this guy uses swords you know that's where stats are gonna be or where you know you can manually just put in points and say like okay well you know, this guy's always using swords, but I'm just going to dump all the points into magic, which, you know, it doesn't really make sense being able to do that. And I did play, uh, I played three. Uh, I played the DS remake uh, a little bit, uh, and then I played through the uh, NES version. Famicom version, uh, I liked it quite a bit. Uh, you know, I like one a lot because it's just you know it's not as story heavy. It's you know or character heavy. It's more just about the journey. Like you, you know it's your journey. You pick your you name your characters, select their stat, like their uh, classes and whatever, and then it's just a journey. It's not a story. Uh, and 3 was kind of similar to that, where, you know, you just, uh, or 3 on the NES at least was like that, you just pick whatever characters you want, and whatever classes you want, and then it's your story going through. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I beat that one. play just a little bit of, uh, I mean, what I just said about 3, but not, you know, I don't really care for fixed mm. characters and stuff like that, and being real, uh, mm. dialogue heavy, so, of course, I didn't really care for 4 that much, because, uh, that's what it's all about. You know, you all your characters are really, like, really hard set into whatever class they are, and, uh, they cut, you know, they're always coming and going with the story. You, you know, you've got a character for a bit, and then you lose them. And, mm. So I didn't really care for that. Uh, yeah, I don't remember how far I got. Uh, it wasn't that far. I think I'd maybe just gotten, like, Rydia. 
That's as far as the five really. Five I did like quite a bit. You know, it, the characters were specifically named and stuff, but it was more like four then when you could, uh, or I mean three, where you, you could set all their classes. Just make them what you wanted them to be. Uh, I don't think their stats would really change by who they were, so it didn't, you know, it would still do whatever you want to do with them. It quite a bit. I know it is kind of like four. Uh, I think I screwed up there. Yeah, I think I screwed up. I'm gonna have to go back to get that. I think I was supposed to drop off of uh, just a random spot there, and then I would land in the room. And then I could uh, you know, get the chest and then open the door to get out of there and then go back. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, eat uh, this area and then I don't know find a chest going up or uh, stairs going up. He doesn't, uh, yeah, he won't fight there. Yeah, so I like six quite a bit. Uh, yeah, I know it is kind of similar to four, and then it's got, uh, you know, specific characters. Uh, they don't tend to come and go as often, though. Uh, you know, you, you can more use the characters you want to use. Uh, the Esper system let you level them up how you wanted them as well. Yeah, overall I did like it quite a bit. Uh, I played through 7 uh, somewhat recently, like just in the last uh, 5 years or so. Uh, I didn't really care for it. I find, yeah, it being, you know, a PS1 game, it it looks kind of horrible today. Uh, I actually don't mind the 3D models. If the whole game was made out of, like, that quality of 3D models, I wouldn't care as much. It would be okay. Uh, but it was just the backgrounds for me. You know, they're, they're so low resolution, and they're all trying to be hyper-realistic. So everything just looks muddy, like... Uh, there was so there was times literally where I had to go onto YouTube and find a like a full let's play just to figure out how to get out of a room because I'd be in some room and say okay I know I gotta like leave this room through some other exit but mm. I can't see an exit here mm. and then you know I you know, I'd look up on YouTube and be like, oh, that, that's a door, that like brown smudge over there is a door. Okay, that was, uh, I don't know if that sh the freeze or whatever, anything showed up on the recording there. That was Windows Update wanting to, uh, do its thing. I hate that. Later. Oh, 
I think I can, uh, I don't have to fight him right now. I don't want to fight him just yet. Okay, good. I just didn't, uh, didn't really care for uh, three that much, or seven that much. I never ended up playing the remake. Uh, I was kind of looking forward to it because uh, uh, you know I, I like the story and the characters of seven. Uh, and, you know, I like the world and all that, uh, and the music is really good. Uh, I don't really care for the gameplay, you know, it's the same kind of JRPG, you know, mash fight over and over again. Uh, you know, only it's dragged out over like an 80 hour game instead of a 10 hour game. Uh, you know, all of the animations in that are just so slow, it just takes forever to do a single battle. Uh, so I what you know I wasn't I didn't care for that part either. Okay, let's use an armor instead. Yeah, so see here we've got uh, this adds I think poison uh, immunity and uh, water resistance, which that will uh, yeah there's the uh, silence resistance thing. Yeah, so the water resistance there will help. Uh, quite a bit uh, when we fight the boss and you know that'll cut in half most of the damage he does. I think it will anyways, I don't remember if there's a... I, I think water and ice are the same element, I don't think there's a separate ice resistance thing. Yeah, so I was looking forward to 7, because I knew, okay, you know, the graphics that I didn't like, they're going to be updated, and, you know, I like the style of the, uh, you know, the 7 remake. Uh, and actually, I like, uh, Advent Children. I know everybody hates it a ton, but, uh, you know, I really like the movie, and I figured, okay, the style's going to be somewhat similar to that. Uh, and they're going to change the gameplay, they had said, to just, like, a more action-based one, so I was hoping it was going to be, you know, I don't know, something kind of similar to like some other action RPG, you know, maybe not exactly like Dark Souls or, you know, Fantasy Star Online, but you know, something kind of like that. Uh, so, you know, that would take care of that for me. Uh, the story and music I was, you know, and characters, I figured that it'd all be the same, so I was kind of looking forward to it. Uh, but from what I gather, it's not a full, like, action game. Instead, it's kind of like a half-and-half, half, kind of like uh, Xenoblade Chronicles. Uh, you know, where you have to time where you use your attacks, and, you know, you've got to watch meters fill up when you can use your specials and stuff like that. You can kind of move around, but it doesn't really matter. Like attacks still home in on you, so it's so it's kind of half action and half RPG, or half JRPG turn based. Uh, and I just I, I absolutely hate that style. I would rather it be a a full you know full on action game where you know if you're good enough you could beat the last boss at level one you know naked if you wanted. Uh, Or have a, you know, completely turn-based where, you know, you can just mash through the fight and, you know, not really pay attention, just like watch Netflix or whatever while you're playing. So I find the, uh, those kind of half battle systems, they, they require you to be paying attention and stuff. But they still aren't that, they still aren't that skill-based. Uh, you know, like, I did play through part of Xenoblade. Uh, on the V that, or the, on the Switch there. Um, it's pretty off already. I should have just 
just set her to auto from the beginning. Anyways, yeah, I did play through part of Xenoblade on the Switch, uh, probably 50%, and I just, uh, I just hated the battle system. It was, you know, if you fight an enemy that's a bit stronger than you, you're gonna lose. You know, you don't have enough uh, manual control. Uh, it's not the, an action-based enough that you can uh, actually win uh, or make like a significant difference. But it's because there is that some amount of action base, uh, you know, some amount of action, you still have to be paying attention. You can't just hit the A button over and over during the battle while you're like watching a movie or whatever. Uh, you know, you've got uh, all the different meters that you know they fill up as the battle is going, and then you've got to hit the button to use the special attack or whatever when they fill. So yeah, that's that kind of put me off of uh, Final Fantasy VII there. I haven't. Uh, you know, I may watch like a Let's Play of it sometime just to kind of you know see it because you know all the things I care about it. You know the characters and the world and stuff like that. I could you know get that just by watching a Let's Play. I don't think I've played any of the other Final Fantasy VII uh, side story things. Uh, the, uh, the one with Vincent or something like that. Yeah, I guess moving on in the Final Fantasy series. Uh, eight, I've never played. I know this is his last state, so the last injury form or whatever, so it's possible I may be able to do this. Uh, maybe not. Uh, all right, no talking. I'm just gonna pay attention this time. I'll try and beat him this time. <laughs> The problem is she won't heal unless she's kind of below 50%, but uh, he seems to be faster, so he will, uh, if she's low enough, uh, he'll hit her before she can heal. Or he's, I guess, sometimes faster. I'm not really sure how the uh, speed stuff goes here. really use the uh, defense uh, much before I'm not I tried it there because I figured it might uh, save her if he hits her but uh, I'm not uh, really sure guy does actually uh, kill me fairly often. Then uh, he lasts a bit longer because uh, he's got the uh, water resistance there.
uh, really nice once uh, Ben gets the life spell. Jeez. Oh, I don't think I've ever lost to a boss this often. This many times in one uh, fight. I may just have to have uh, Ben just keep healing constantly. Sometimes he seems to go first, sometimes he goes second. Five seven six with fire and it's close enough. I could use the uh, seed if I have some, yeah. I could use the seed to uh, get her fire back, but uh, I'll wait until she uses all her thunder if she does. Back to the Final Fantasy series. Uh, I've never played eight. Uh, the only thing I can remember is uh, one of my friend's brothers had it. And I remember uh, I was over at his house when his brother was like uh, fighting the uh, last boss. But uh, that's about it. I've never played it at all, or never really, you know, been interested in playing it even. Seven, eight, nine. I did play a, just a tiny bit of nine once. Uh, it seemed kind of interesting, but I never. I don't know. I think I started playing it, and then I, I immediately got busy with something, uh, and then. Never bothered to go back to it. Uh, and it'll be nice when we get the exit spell. We can go back. Uh, I guess that was a good idea to go get that armor before that. Uh, it helped a lot, and uh, it saves having to go and get it solo with Ben right now. After 9, I guess there's a 10. I've never played 10. Uh, I did beat about, I don't know, probably 90% of 10 too. 
Uh, I got a PS2 very late in its life. Uh, I think probably the PS3 was out by the time I got the PS2. in here. Like, up, off, over there. Uh, I don't remember if there's a spell in here. But I don't really want to be fighting these guys solo. I never went up there either. Okay, uh, I think when I'm taking a break recording, I'm just going to check, uh, see what items are in here. Uh, and if there are more items in there that I missed, I don't know if there's a spell, but uh, if there are, I will come back here once I get the next character. But yeah, there's uh, no way I'm risking going in there solo. I got the PS2 fairly late. Uh, I ended up getting it for one of the DDR games. Uh, I, I don't think I had a, a home DDR up to that point. Uh, but, you know, it was late in its uh, life. And uh, there was a new DDR game coming out for it. So I ended up, uh, I got the PS2 and DDR. And then, of course, there was a bunch of... Uh, you know, cheap games. Uh, one of them I got was uh, Final Fantasy uh, X2. Yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty good, I guess. I don't remember why I stopped. I think probably I, you know, I died somewhere, lost like an hour or whatever of progress, and then just kind of gave up. I, that has often been a thing that's kind of killed the uh, interest in JRPGs, is when you, you die and go back to your last save that was an hour or two, and just kind of give up then. Uh, that happened with Chrono Trigger. I've never beaten Chrono Trigger. I do want to. I do really like the game, but uh, yeah, it, you know, I died, lost two hours of progress, and then kind of gave up. Uh. Uh, Chrono Cross is another one I'm really interested in playing. I like the idea of a game with tons of characters, so uh, I like to play that one sometime. See, after 10-2, I guess there's uh, 11s in MMO, I have like, zero interest in playing MMOs, so never bothered with that. Uh, 12 was, yeah, I got that one also for the PS2 there. Uh, I made it, I don't know, 20% of the way through, and then I, like I was just saying, I was, you know, wandering around exploring. I, ended up in, uh, I think it was Ifrit's cave, I don't remember exactly which summon it was, it was uh, some, one of the summons, I wandered into like his cave, uh, got immediately wiped out, lost like two hours of progress, and then it was just like, I don't feel like playing for a bit, and then I just never, I didn't end up playing it for a while, and then uh, just a couple years ago, maybe five years ago, I, uh, ended up uh, playing through the uh, International Zodiac, whatever, version. Uh, so yeah, I, you know, I played all the way through the Zodiac version, uh, eat it. Uh, the fast forward in that one helps a lot. Yeah, so I, I do really like 12. Uh, you know, it's got a kind of a cool style. Uh, I like that, 
Well, in the international one, anyways, you can set the classes. Uh, you know, you set what each person's class is, and then, uh... I find that was a lot better. Uh, when I was playing the original one, even though I didn't get that far, like, I was, you know, like, 20% through... Uh, by that point, every character could basically do everything. You know, everybody had heavy armor and all the weapons and all the different magic and stuff. And it just seemed kind of pointless to have, you know, just six of the same character, basically. Uh, I like that the, uh, the international one restricted you that way. I think I'm gonna just break here for a few minutes. <laughs>